Comic-Con is the perfect place to find your geek soulmate. This Damn, how long ago was this? Party. I thought Comic-Con was like really big. Oh, yes, I am. Oh my god. The girls that I really do like. This looks kind of kinda janky. I'm kind of like nervous. This has to be old, right, right? What comics are you reading? I have a lady from Winter Soldiers. Cool. Very nice. Geek love. Which convention center is that? Welcome to our universe. Was I supposed to know who that is? Oh, that was Jessica Rabbit. That's when you're at Comic -Con, some trolls. The people in this world are different. And it Captain shows. America. Thor. Wow. Nerds True. Oh, New York. I think it's really important for geeks and nerds to be able to find love, just like it's important for everybody else. Geeks of are course. sexy because they're just sexy. This is 18 and over, so I can say it, because they can put a lot of imagination into the bedroom. Three, two, oh, the poison one. ivy was nice. On to the next date. Sci-fi speed dating at Comic-Con is the perfect place to find your geek soulmate. Over 18? I'm 13. You're 13? Yes. Inches? It's a, no. <laughs> around? Uh, maybe yeah. around, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Looking for guys or girls? Oh, girls, definitely. Okay. <laughs> I'm Alex, I am 25. Did not need to know that. Geek. And did not he all need him lying about his age at a dating thing. Here. That's just Every weird. Every time I trip to Comic Con, I usually get a lot of po art. My love life status is a mix of forever alone and socially awkward penguin. It's meme kind of stuff. You know, characters that I love, you know, Rose Red from Fables because she's a redhead. I love redheads. Chat, I feel like if if you find yourself at this position where you feel like you're getting older, you're just, like he said, what did he call it? What do you say about his love life? Alone and forever and alone or penguin? penguin. Oh, forever alone and social awkward penguin. I think at this point, even though they're really beautiful and hot and all that, I would take down the hundreds of posters of very sexy women in your room. Okay. Because I think it starts putting like a unobtainable, because a lot of women already don't look like this. So now I think that you're like purposely seeking and holding these women to a pedestal. And any woman, even if you think she looks like the girls on this poster, might not necessarily see herself as looking like the woman in the poster. And it's just going to feel like she can't compete and also feels like you're a little too obsessed with it. So uh, there's a lot that goes on. I think, I think if you find yourself at this point, you should just take the posters down while you're trying to date and find someone. It's meme-tastic. You know, characters that I love, you know, Rose Red from Fables because she's a redhead. I love redheads. Big fan of them. One of my Me favorites too. is uh, this piece here. Just all redheads. <laughs> I'm a renaissance geek. I like comics. I like board games. I love Doctor Who. And, okay. Uh, I'm also All right. Bright. Okay. So what about you? Some nerds. Some, some of, yeah. What, what um, type of nerd would you like? No, seriously though. Like, what type of girl would you optimally like to meet there? Yeah, I guess you. Jabated. Oh, you got me. So you essentially want my non-evil twin? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I guess. That's a little creepy, Alex. <laughs> Some of my challenges with girls are just... Wait, he likes her? I really do like that Aww. I'm really interested in. I just want to be friends. Aw. What kind of questions are you going to ask? Who's your favorite... Friend zone. <laughs> oh, my God. Are you a brony? Oh, yes, I am. Oh, my God. You know that's up there with MMOers, right? No, it is. Yes, it is. I'm referencing. So, okay, I'm going to pretend I'm sitting here and I'm cosplaying as Neil Gaiman's death, okay? <laughs> so you would come up to me. Some of my challenges with girls are just talking to Oh yeah, he has the My Little Ponies Hi. on his desk. Hi, Alex. I'm Carolyn. Nice to meet you, Carolyn. Nice to meet you too. He's so, a, he's a I, brony. I guess you're into Neil Gaiman, but the, uh, I do, I yeah. like him a lot. I really like all of his comics. What kind of comics do you like? Uh, I'm, I'm a big fan of comics. What else are you into? I like ponies. That's cool. I like my little pony too. <laughs> real life ponies, real ones. Hopefully, you know, real I meet someone ones. there that I really do like. Real that I'm ones. Really interested in. You know, hopefully it's not some half-hearted thing. You know, that it's like, oh no, I really do like her. Hopefully she likes me too, because then it's just there's no point. You don't want to. That's called stalking. Then don't do it. 
Don't you do it. I don't know what that means. You said fucking? Like What's fucker? Is you could be yourself. Yo, send them. I think it's really important for geeks oh, and nerds to find love. Oh. <laughs> just like it's important for everybody else. Nobody really wants to be alone. Oh, you guys debated me on the raid? Oh, I've been debated. Oh, man, good one, guys. Oh, that was so good. Debated. Oh, man, you got me. So man. good. All right, back to what the show. What I hope comes out of this is a date. Any date. I think any date, maybe. Clip it. Yeah, yeah clip it. We got her. Over there by that table, under the table. I definitely uh, like someone who has red hair, a unique face. You know, someone who doesn't look like everyone else, maybe. Move on in. Okay, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Sci-Fi Speed Dating. Ladies, do not use this as an exercise to perfect your friend zoning technique. <laughs> the friend zone sucks. And escaping the friend zone is like threading a needle while jumping on a pogo stick evading sharks with frickin' laser beams attached to their frickin' heads. Dates are three minutes long. Every three minutes, get up and rotate. Ladies, please have a seat. It would be great if I could find the perfect match, someone I like, someone who likes me, maybe. But I'm, I'm open to see what's gonna happen. All right, three, two, speed date. So, uh... How long have you been? So, have you enjoyed Comic Con so far? Is this his future girlfriend? Have you enjoyed Comic Con so far? I like it. It's tough at first, you know, it's like. <laughs> Hi. He's dressed like a Boy I'm Scout. A shirt, so I'm kind of like nervous sitting around you right now. No, I'm not, I'm not gonna die, don't worry. I hope you don't either. Yeah, no, I hope not. Alex is a very. Oh, wait, is he cosplaying? Geek. He knows what he, he is. is and he's proud of it. So. What are you into? Like, oh, it's a cosplay. Nice. Comic, video games. Board games? I will play board games. Cool. Her ears are moving as she talks. I'm sort of trying to take it as I go. They're, oh my god, she's a furry. They're moving. Oh, is he from Gravity Falls? Oh, I think I actually know what he's talking about. Uh, what he's dressed as. On bananas, things like that. It's always fun. It always, you know, shocks people when you pull the banana out, but hey. <laughs> Uh, what's the weirdest museum? Oh, another been? furry! The sex museum. Her fandom doesn't have to match mine, but it, you know, it wouldn't hurt if we matched a little bit. I love the Kirby shirt. Thank you. Nothing like a little innocent. <gasps> a redhead! <laughs> Hog! I like that she had a, uh, you know. No, you he know, just likes the red hair. Kirby shirt on. Uh, but I want you inside, maybe. Uh, video games? Yeah. Have you played Journey on PS3? I love it. Oh Journey's my gosh. Awesome. Cool. I Someone love else. it. So he seemed really interested in what I do, uh, and Aww. it was really nice. It was very fun talking with her. Yay! You know, I felt very comfortable with her. Oh, it was really nice meeting you. Nice meeting you too. Bye. Yeah, she was cute. Yeah. Hi, Idris. I didn't think the technology of the ears was dumb. I could tell that it's cool, but I was just saying that she's like. You can just tell. What comics are you reading? I'm a lady boner from Winter Soldiers. Is it the bionic arm that does it, or? No, 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 no. His, his assholery attitude. Okay. Oh, I thought she was. The bad boy attitude. Oh. Yes. That's sort of a. I thought she was really going to talk about his butthole yeah, or something. Yeah. It's going great. That's really confused. Uh, you know, so far some of the girls are great. So what are you into? Batman. Batman, Batman, Batman is my all-time favorite of the character. Great costume, though. How long did it take you? you? He was a huge fan of Batman and Harley, so that always gets me going. Oh, okay. Please and sit down. Damn. Yeah, so I know you're not used to going that long, but it's okay. You've been keeping track of the people you liked on your scorecards, yes? When I'm done talking, you're going to find the pieces of paper that correlate to the people that you liked. If you liked number five, you'll find number five's page. It'll say number five on it. If you didn't like somebody, don't write anything down. Okay, fair warning. Some of you are gonna get no numbers. It happens. I apologize in advance. Aww. Just means it wasn't the session for you. All right, write your stuff down. Uh oh, let's find out. Uh, it's really hard to pick. Uh oh. I like so many of them. I like the girl with the uh, Kirby shirt. I like the girl on the uh, Star Trek too. I also like the one Does that was just like the Does he not remember them by name and at all? The ones I like are the ones. Oh I like. wow, so he I went. Go put my he name went and number uh, for the home run. Gentlemen, sit still. Look pretty. Puff out your chest. All right, ladies. Oh, this they all actually did it. That's so match. cute. This is a chance for they you all guys actually did it. to get three minutes with somebody that liked you, that you liked back, okay? It's hard to know if I've left an impression on the ones that I did like. You know, it's sort of, so it's a tough thing. Ladies, do you have your perfect match in sight? Yes. 
Okay, track in on their hormonal signals. You need to run to him as fast as possible right now, go. Uh oh, I don't, do Harley Quinn picked Batman, didn't she? Quickly, quickly. Hey, I'm actually Alex. No, no, see, no, no. He didn't recognize that this was a home run all along and he tried to pick the other girl in the sexy cosplay. Mm -mm. Girl, run. You were in his first pick. Don't, don't let him, don't let him do it to you, girl. You deserve better. So I probably, you know, he should have picked you from the beginning. I was actually surprised it was, you know, someone who- It's Harley with the Batman I want to see because she's cool. right there. You guys beat the odds. Oh, she's not. She's with this dude. Yeah, a perfect match. Not the Batman. That's really something cool in this thing right here. Take this time, talk to these people, maybe set up some time to hang out this weekend. How old are you as well? I'm, I'm 25. 24. 25, nice. Oh, okay. Good. Whew. There's like one 32-year-old that still lives with his mom. I was like, mm. no. I kind of live with my folks still. But, yeah, you but know. It, I don't know. I it's feel like, like in the college. 20s, it's okay. Because yeah, no. especially the <laughs> 20s. Like, so, uh... Oh, damn, this, okay. Uh, yeah, Let's sure. check back yeah, when she's 30 and see if she's changed or not. Yeah, we, could, like, we could walk around, uh, you know. Yeah. Got, we can walk you back to your booth as well. You need okay, to ask. <laughs> cool, thanks. I mean, it's like, you can do it yourself, of course. But, you, <laughs> but, you know, if you want to, yeah. you can go out in the company. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. He's got the lima bean car. Okay. So, yeah, what happened after speed dating was oh, that his heart's broken. You can tell. I'm talking to Kate, basically okay. on camera. Uh, cameras are off, and we walked away. And what happened was that basically, uh, she told me after about a minute, basically that she just wanted to be friends. So basically, kind of uh, nothing ever happened. Of course, I understand, but it, it was kind of depressing. Why didn't she just pick no one? Why didn't she just pick nobody? You know, it's me, I guess. That's, that's my life. Getting to here, I just want to be friends all the time. That part of the day was uh, pretty bad, but the rest of the con was great. I got to meet basically uh, Bill Willingham, who did who writes for Fables. It was awesome. He signed it to me. Sent this awesome piece of art that was free. You know, I got a lot of art. I'm, I'm happy about that. But, uh... Any changes I want to make in my love life? If anyone of you uh, watching like what they <laughs> see, contact me at this email here. Oh, that's cute. Good for him. I wonder if he still gets offers. I love that, though. I love that he put himself out there with an email like that. Sometimes it's just what you gotta do. I, I hope he didn't get trolled too much. Um, but I love that he put himself out okay. there. Bye.